is? Good afternoon. My name is Anne Silver, and I work for National Surveys Limited. We're doing a survey on behalf of the local council. It's to try to find out if the council's services for old people are working properly. Could you help me by answering a few questions? Yes. Thank you. That's the rest of the Hartford Estate. How are you getting on? Oh, right. Keep up the good work, eh? No, oh, sure. Do you take advantage of cheap bus fares? Ah, oh, another yes. How often do you travel by bus? One or two trips a week. Three to six, more than six. Yes. One or two trips, uh, three to six. Do you visit an old people's day centre? No. Day centre, that's another no. One, two, three, four, five. Well, that's right. You can have that for 20 pence. That's very, very cheap, isn't it? Yeah. See, it's a special offer we're doing just for the day. Thank you very much. Oh, just one moment, sir. I wonder, would you mind answering a few questions about your twang top t-shirt? See, I'm doing a market survey. Can you tell me, have you bought a twang top t-shirt in the last six months? Yeah. Oh, that's very interesting. Uh, and did you find it good value for money? Hi there. Oh, hello. Oh, not more of them. Of course. Hmm. What are you doing? Code in section four, use of council services. There's a lot of them take advantage of the cheap bus fares, but not so many of the day centres. Mm, not enough day centres, if you ask me. Oh, that reminds me, can I call at your place tonight? My place? Any time. To see your grandfather. Well, I never completed his form, so if I could just pop round and speak to him. Uh, no, not tonight. He's had an attack of, uh, that he's got a rest. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I'll tell you what, um, I'll come round to your place tonight and we'll go out somewhere. Uh, well, yes. But if your grandfather's that ill, well, don't you think you ought to stay at home with him? Uh, Some other time, eh? Here we are, eh? Uh, not interrupting anything, am I? No, no. <coughs> well, how did you get on? Oh, uh. Got rid of all them T-shirts. Uh, plus the one you took for your grandson. How is the little chap? Uh, little chap? Oh, yeah, well, he'll be out now with his little playmates. Ah. Are they all here? Yeah, and everybody said that the T-shirt was good value for money. Well, of course, at 20 pence it ought to be. Uh, except one chap. What was wrong with him? Well, he seemed to think it was some sort of con trick, cheeky blighter. Yes. Well, I can't help feeling he was right. Well, you don't want to start thinking like that. That's a genuine survey, that is. Well, I suppose you did stop young people at random, so it could be said to be a genuine sample of the market. Exactly. All the same, giving away the T-shirt first does seem a little... It's got nothing to do with it. Hmm. Well, thank heavens one of them said no. Why? Well, whoever heard of a survey where everyone said yes? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, anyway, what we've got to do... We've got to dress them figures up real good and then send them to your head office. Dress them up? Uh, how do I do that? Oh, there are ways. I'll find out. Um, <clears throat> I happen to have a contact in that line of business. I'll find out what they do with the figures when they collect them in, OK? Uh, you know, Mr Lucas, it's awfully generous of you to help me like this. Generous? Um, it's a job, uh, you know, the, the decorating. Oh. Well, they, they haven't agreed to keep the office open yet. Well, they will want to get your survey. You sure of that? Oh, yeah. In the meantime, I can't hang about. I've got to find myself another job. I mean, if that survey don't go through, you might have to find another job as well. Sorry. Oh. Oh, oh no, don't, don't go. Oh, Sam, please. I've got no choice. Oh, dear. Well, I suppose I could take the risk. You could? I'll help you with the figures at the same time. You might find the bills a bit heavy, but I think you'll agree it's going to be well worth it. One, two, one, two, three, five, ten, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, five, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. They didn't get in at the elections after all. According to that opinion poll last week, they were three percent up. Now it turns out they're four percent down. Two percent, three percent, four percent, five. No, 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 no. Four, I said. 
What went wrong with that opinion poll? That's what I want to know. Did the people change their mind at the last minute, or did they ask the wrong people the questions in the first place? I bet that's what it was. I bet they stood outside the factory door and asked the first hundred workers what came out. 100, 200, 300, 400. Yeah, well, it might have been 300, but if they asked the same kind of people, like workers, for instance, I mean, they'd get questions all one-sided, wouldn't they? Here, look at the time. It's six o'clock. Two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, What's five. the matter with you? You've been working overtime or something. Here, I hope you're getting paid for it. Two pound, three pound, four pound, oh, five. Mate. Got figures on the brain. I knew a bus conductor what got took like that once. Mike. I'm talking to you. Say, say something. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. It's that job. You've got to chuck it in. Chuck it in? No, no. Uh, second thought, you can't. Not yet. One, two, three, Mike, four. Mike, I, I want you to do a favour for you. Well, you know them drawings you brought in the other week um, with like the, the figures made out like pictures? Um, what do they call them? Charts. Uh, charts, that's right. Well, I want you to find out how they make them. One or two charts, three to six, no, more than six. Mike! 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 I've got another set of figures for you, um, section five. Ah, yes, thank you. Put them down there, will you? Not bad, eh? Oh, well, that's a chart. Well, yes. Here, someone was asking me about charts. Who was it now? Wanted to know how you put them together. Ah, oh, well, this is easy enough. We did this from your figures. Really? On the use of old people's day centres. You counted all the answers on the questionnaires, remember? <laughs> Will I ever forget? Well, these are your figures for the Gladstone Road area. Of the old people interviewed who go to day centres, 16 go to Derby and Joan clubs, 9 go to music classes, 4 to old time dancing, 20 play bowls and so on. Right? Oh, it's right, all right. <laughs> yes. Now, this shows exactly the same figures, only this way you can compare the results at a glance. For instance, see how many more people play bowls than do craft work. Oh, yeah, I see that. Games, club, gardening, cookery. Well, it's pretty obvious which is most popular. Well, it's obvious when you see it like this. It isn't obvious when all you've got is a list. But this hits you like a slap in the face. Slap in the... Now I know who it was. You've got to split the bottom line into sections. Now, what was the question? Oh, did you find a T-shirt good value for money? How many ways could I answer? Uh, excellent, very good, good and fair. What about lousy? Oh, not in your life. Right. Excellent. Very good. Good and fair. Right, which got the most? Uh, very good. Ten of them. Ten. Right. So we'll put ten up here. Nine, eight, seven, six. This is only rough, you know, because you've got to measure it exactly. Yeah, yeah, we can't go. Right, how many said excellent? Uh, only five, and when you consider they only... Yeah, 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 all right, all right. Oh. Five is there. Right, next, very good. Yeah, that was ten, wasn't it? Ten, right. Next, good. Nine. Nine. Well, nine is there. Last one, fair. Only one. One. There. How's that? Then? Oh, you should have been an artist. Is this what you mean? Oh, that's very good, isn't it? That should show them. <laughs> you know, one thing does worry me. I if you count all these up, there are only 25 answers all told. Doesn't seem very many, does it? Yeah, I see your point. But it's only a sample, isn't it? It could be many more than that. I mean, it could be, like, ten times more. Look, like this. <clears throat> see? Yeah. Look, but... It... And the same with all of them. You can't do that. It's not the same. Yeah, but it shows the same picture. Done it. See? Look. Very good there was ten. Excellent there was five. Right? Well, ten is twice as many as five. But if you call it one hundred and fifty, still twice as many. You know, Mr. Lucas, I can't help feeling the whole thing is just a tiny bit dishonest. Dishonest? Figures can't lie. Everybody will tell you that. <laughs> <laughs>